Anything you want to say to the friends and family before we do this? Yeah. Hi, Mom. And uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I'll we'll have to get some cool shots of that in the air, man. What's up guys? My name is Eugene. And my name is Min. We're two guys trying to maximize the other eight hours of our lives, not spent sleeping or working. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the top three things we did not expect about skydiving. And we jumped out of an airplane a few weeks ago, and it was crazy. That was awesome. That was so cool. That was awesome. Nice, Holy man. Hell. Holy hell. I mean, that's <laughs> like the only word that can come out of my mouth right now. Honestly, that was so much fun. But before we jump into the three facts, we wanted to give a quick shout out to Skydive California. Now, we're not getting paid at all to say this, but we had such a good experience um, jumping out of the plane for the first time with them that we feel like they deserve some recognition. They have a super friendly staff and very professional facilities. So if you're in the Bay Area and trying to check something off your bucket list, we highly recommend Skydive California. Alright guys, here are the top three things that we did not expect about skydiving for the first time. Number one, there are literally no skills involved with tandem jumping. As a jumper, you don't have to do anything, not even the jump itself. The tandem instructor does everything for you. All you have to do is look good for the camera. I mean, or not. Right. Number two, even though you're falling, you don't look or feel like you're falling. Let me explain. A lot of people think that you get that stomach drop feeling that you would get from a roller coaster the entire time that you're falling, but that's not the case. And that's because that stomach drop feeling is caused by a change in acceleration. So you'll feel it for a few seconds immediately after you jump off the plane, but afterwards all you feel is the wind in your hair, and your face, and your body, and stuff. Also, it's not going to look like you're falling, because at 13,000 feet in the air, you're so high off the ground that it's not going to look like it's moving very quickly towards you. Number three, skydiving is actually a pretty safe activity. Now, nothing in life is guaranteed and accidents can happen, but tandem jumping is considered a low risk activity. Most tandem instructors can jump thousands of times in their lives and they can go up to 25 jumps in just one week. Now, our tandem instructor personally logged over 7,000 jumps in his life and counting. Additionally, your tandem instructor is gonna have two sets of canopies. A main one that they deploy and a reserve just in case. There's an electronic system inside every rig that will deploy a reserve canopy if for whatever reason you hit a certain altitude and the main canopy has not been opened yet. And if you're still feeling uncertain, most drop zones have an accident report. Now when we went to Skydive California to ask them for theirs, they said they, they could show it to us, but it would just be a blank piece of paper. So to us, that was extremely reassuring. We feel like we should make something clear. We're simply sharing what we learned about skydiving from you know the conversations we've had, the research that we did, and a single jump. So we're by no means experts. Skydiving is still a pretty risky activity, so if you do decide to go, you know, do your homework first and always be safe. Anyways, we had tons of fun skydiving and we hope that you learned something from this video too. Now if you decide to go skydiving or you've gone already, please let us know how your experience was in the comment section below. If you like this video, please support us by liking and subscribing. We also put constant updates and sneak peeks on our Instagram, so be sure to follow us at Other8Productions. See you in the next one.